and this is the step the pyramid here. and this came after Giza no, oh no before. this is before yeah yeah we've done this before Good morning, Vance. Good. Yeah. Good morning, Udom. Good morning, Terry. You guys Another sleep? Another day. Yeah. How'd you sleep? Slept okay. Not long enough, but okay. I slept great from 9:40 until 12. Then I woke up, and uh, then it was in and out for the rest of the day. Oh well. We'll be fine. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Day three. One of the cool things about eating here. They have many different things for breakfast that we wouldn't normally get in Thailand or the United States. So it's been a little bit of a breakfast feast these last couple of days. So this is the second largest Sphinx in Egypt after the Great Sphinx in Giza. These bases were for columns. How big were the columns? Fantastic. Now we are in Saqqara. We've got the step pyramid here. We have tombs. We're going to see a pyramid with everything inside all on the walls drawn. So looking forward to this next part of the journey. got to the bottom of this one. It wasn't that long or that deep. Oh, we got more to go. <laughs> okay. Want to take a break? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and cool here. It's it's, it is? Yeah, yeah. Vamanos. 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 And the end. Okay. 
Okay, dilemma. Which way to go? Look at the seal and look at how they line the rocks up. The slate. Starfish. chambers of the pile of rock and dirt pyramid, pyramid which is rather interesting and this one we went down versus going up like we did in Giza but it's very cool in here that's the point it's nice it's hot out right now but it's cool in here so we prefer hanging out here than we do outside we were just saying there's a lot of places to be in the world, but there aren't a lot of places more cool than to be in the pyramids of Egypt. And Vance, what did you suggest that we need to put in? They, they need to put in a bar. It's <laughs> a good it idea. It might complicate getting back out. <laughs> well, that's a good point too. The pyramid we were just in is Titi. After the pyramids of Giza, but there was a lot of political turmoil, so they did not use the best stone and technology when they were building it, and that's why it's falling apart. Now we're going to go into some tombs, I believe. Presented. Can you see the slippers? How it's perfect it is, and even the nails <coughs> here. It just looks. Right? Also, the nails and the toe. How it's perfect to represent it. It's all here. I find there's a leopard skin because the high priest had to also wear the leopard skin. That's why it's also represented here. You can also see if these watcher stuff. It's you know, some of them like two like in purpose, so you still like find some like remains of the deceased. Because some like at the beginning like some people like just just stay here and some of them just like chisel them some also the others and so you will still find some remains of like the servants where they are cutting different kind of and this is the last chamber of the tomb and also the biggest it was two stories only one story left and they have no idea what happened to the other floor. And here, 
These, this is a picture, if you can make it out, of circumcision. This is a tomb for someone that was with King Titi. T T I. That's your first and last hieroglyphics lesson from me. This is the part of this, we call this one the, the part of this. So this is here, this, it's called het, it means to give. This tomb was all the limestone, but the owner, he couldn't afford having the limestone, mm -hmm. as I brought it. So that's why he painted in the reddish color to look like as if it is grotto, but originally it's a limestone. But he had to color it just in the reddish color to look like as it's the uh, granite. Can't do much talking because it's very windy. But we can do some filming and it sure looks great. Of collapsing these columns because you have to put them like, like add layers above each other. Uh -huh. He was afraid of collapsing the columns, so he had to support them by this wall. I see there's add on. Yes, you like to support them just like I'm sure you as an architect. It's very, I think, very special for you all of them uh -huh. just to make sure to, to support them. Also, the other reason is to put the statue for Zulsur and one of the gods, the gods between. They have like, they have, the capitals are missing, but you can still see the two of them over there has rebuilt. completely roofed. Just like Rome and Greece, so much is gone that would have been incredibly yes. beautiful to experience. Exactly. And this is the step Just pyramid. And this came after Giza. No, oh no, before. this is before. Yeah, yeah. The others. Yes, some yeah. that have been before. Yeah, yeah. After this one's before. This one's before. So we're at the entrance of the step pyramid. And this is another one that goes down, not up like the pyramid. But actually, but actually you're not like you're not bent because it's like all like straight. Then you're straight. gonna see that how nice Okay, so we're in the step pyramid, and this is all original. You can't say anything. Mm -hmm.
this goes up. And it goes down. This is the House of the South, and it goes back to Ramsey's time? No, 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 no. it's like they have like also, also Saucer. Okay. Also, I mean like the ancient, we have like the Herotic script, it's like a newer than the compass. Ah, sure. Because, I mean the Herotic like script, the people like came and they just said draw the graffiti, draw the graffiti in the Herotic script. You can still see them. So this is ancient. Yeah, there's like the first one at the time of like the some of them like down the rest the second they just like came and they draw the graffiti that they didn't that they liked very much. Uh, this that they liked that they did come with a lot and they left their own names inside the chair. <laughs> well that was an incredibly long, tiring and absolutely exhilarating day it's only around 6 30 but we started early today and we need to go get a little bit of food get some sleep we have our early wake-up call tomorrow we're flying to Aswan we'll stay in a hotel for one night then we'll pick up our cruise part of the journey so we're gonna have a little quiet evening tonight tomorrow should be a little bit easy also and then it'll pick up again over the next four or five days. So I'll end this video now. It's already gonna to be too long. There's so much to share with you. I don't wanna to cut too much out. So I'll say good night. Have a great day wherever you are. Please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for coming along on this Egypt and Jordan journey.